Welcome to a guide to new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 10th of July and we have four new mods today. Uh, the reason for the little bit of a lull in mods was the fact that the mod contest um, was drawing to a close and Giants had to go through the mods before releasing them to PC for people to try and uh, use and vote and that kind of thing. So, obviously, mods being uh, checked to come out for gameplay kind of put on the back burner a little bit. But we have got four today. What shall I start with? Down the front here, we have got... This is the Coupler Bale Fork. This is by uh, Fabian and Gogo Bear. It's very small, but a very handy bit of kit. Yeah. Uh, it's four slots. And we find it in... It's under baling technology, actually. I, I was trying to look for it in all the, um, like, skid steer front loaders, miscellaneous, all over the place, but it's actually under baling technology, which kind of makes sense when you think about it. So there we go. Uh, the Duvelstorf, couple of bell fork, 450 to buy. Like I say, four slots. Options available. We can change the design colour. Uh, red, green, black, or scratched. Mm, that's the actual tines themselves. And then the main colour, we can have uh, red or green. Whichever you'd rather go for. Then design one, this is where we attach on the bottom of the three-point link. On the link arms on the bottom, we've got design one and design two with a kind of ball. It's a, like a dish, a half dish, which helps settle things. You know, I think it kind of guides it into position in the right place. And then obviously move better yep so those are your options available on the coupler bale fork what we'll do let's grab a tractor very very quickly so get up swing it around into the light now we can fold it away that's one thing I like about it it's very good and it also follows the the shape of the uh, coupler which I think is really cool um, but it does mean that while you're transporting things around you haven't got those spikes sticking out the front very cool and then we can raise and lower it now there's no manual adjustment in between that you've got up and you've got down and there's also no tilt option if we go into the menu here you've got lift and drop there's nothing actually for tilt so you probably have to be a little bit careful that said it see, seems quite sturdy like I say they are very very small these are going to be for moving a bale not multiple bales at a time unless you're incredibly gifted that one is on the end actually but and there you go so without the need of front loader attachments and things like that if you just want to move a bale to put in for bedding or you know, whatever you want to do very cool. Very cool indeed. Slow that down. And pull it back out. Fold it up. And detach. Cool. There you go. So that's from Fabian and Gogo -Go Bear. Next mod we have got. This is the B402 Disc Harrow. This is a Fort Schritt Disc Harrow. This is by AAA Modding, AAA Modding, uh, who bring out quite a lot of the Fort Schritt machinery. So this matches up with the Fort Schritt tractors and the E303 um, mower that's already out. So it's kind of part of that whole line of things. But there, there is a, there's a nice little feature on this, which I think makes a difference to it, which I quite like. So let's have a look in store. This is under... Where are we? Disc Arrows. There we go. B402, 13,000 to buy. It's only a three metre. It's not particularly wide. So if we look at the ones down here, which are 3.4, three metre, 18 grand. It's a little bit cheaper. It's quite a long piece of machinery. Um, and it's, how many slots is this one? This is five slots. Options available. Now we can change the rim colour, which is what I like. That's the feature I'm talking about. So if you've got a colour, the scheme that your farm goes with, or whatever it might be, you can change that rim colour to suit whatever you're feeling at the particular time. 
It's a small little thing, but it's a customization point that makes it kind of your own and different to everyone else's. And then we've got design standard. We've got the B402 brown, the B402 green, and then back to the standard blue, which matches up with all the other tractors and equipment in the fortress range, really. Uh, let's go and grab this one. Lot of detail on it as well. All the hoses and things going on. It's actually uh, oh, nice indeed. Detail on the chains and the back as well. Let's drop it down. Nice sound effects too. That's very cool. I like that. Yes, I know, before you all start, it's another three metre piece of equipment. It is, but not everyone runs massive stuff. So there you go. That's the Fortress or B402 Disc Harrow from AAA Modding. Very nice. Uh, right, moving onwards. Just suddenly realised I'd left something behind at the store, but never mind. So, in front of us now, we have got the Amazon UX5200 pack. Well, this is part of the pack anyway. This is a new boom sprayer, fertiliser and herbicide. Um, it's an interesting design on this. And the pack contains four of these. And what's quite impressive is the boom width on the larger of them. So, let's have a look. This is under crop protection... I just gone the wrong way no there we go crop protection now we've got, we've got 21 meter we've got uh 36 we've got 24 and we've got these now these aren't the widest in game because obviously the rubicon 9000 uh has got a 48 meter width i think on it but anyway we've got the smaller 24 meter one here for 75,000. we've got the ux5200 30 meter for 90,000. the 36 meter for 110,000, and the 40 meter for 120 so i think it's the largest trailed sprayer we've got at the moment like i say it does liquid fertilizer and it does herbicide options available on these we can have standard now this was a bit weird earlier yeah, we can have standard or narrow. If you actually look at the tyres and not at the menu, standards and narrows, but then if you go back to the menu where it says wheel setup, when you go narrow to standard, it just stays on standard. Now, I don't know, that'll just be a minor tweak. It's just a problem with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that we go up to 40 metres. That's quite cool. 120,000, how we're looking price wise. The navigator, which is 36 metres, is 115,000, 6,000 litre tank. These have got 5,600 litre tanks. All of them. It doesn't matter which width you go for, the tank size is the same on each of them. It's not like you've got a smaller tank and then they go bigger and bigger. The tank size is 5,600 across all four. It's just the boom width that changes on these particular models. So, I'll say some nice details on it. Interesting shape and design. Amazon, I think, is. Is it FSL? Is it one of the FSL teams? I think it was announced, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Now, one thing I did notice, because I was checking this to. Uh, let's just fold it up. Nice smooth animation on the fold, which is quite good. Very nice, all lifts up. Compact little unit, very good. Now, when I try to use the multi filling station, sometimes you can just pull up and they'll fill up no problem at all. Um, when I tried to, it wouldn't let me. I had to open the cover, um, which you have to do for a lot of cedars and things like that and some sprayers and stuff. But just in case you try and use one of those and can't work out why it's not opening, if I press eight now. It puts the step down, opens that top cover, um, and then it will fill up, no problem at all. So, uh, just close that up. And there you go. Very cool, 40 metres. Don't this rear wheel steer, it doesn't need it. It's not like the uh, 
at the hardy one that kind of moves around behind you it's a bit disconcerting well that'll do this whole stretch <laughs> turn it on now obviously it's not going dark on here because i think this bit this patch of field on my reviews has been done so many times now but we can raise and lower the boom depending on the height of the crops or how level the field is that all depends let's turn that off and fold it back up again whoops very nice indeed um that's by melody 98 each one of those oh no it's got rear steer look isn't that weird when i drove out it didn't seem to do it but it has got rear steer that's me saying it hasn't now you have to get right tight into the turn don't you for it to go actually that gives you a really tight turning circle with them on the back like that very cool indeed yeah these are five slots each um should you wish to purchase one there you go that's the amazon ux 5200 pack very nice moving on to the last of our mods for today this is the olive tree by robymel81 modding this is a placeable that makes you money uh, like the, uh, I know we've got the new tree packs, the orchards, which are a set orchard. This is very much like the older ones where you place individual trees. What's interesting with this is when you place the tree, it places like this. So you get a tree with nothing on it. When you add water, you get the, uh, you know, the, the greenery, the leaves, everything appears on it. Now this in store says let's scroll across under miscellaneous olive tree 1000 to buy i've got mine set on normal this will give you 90 per hour so in just over 10 hours 11 hours um you're gonna have paid for it it will have paid for itself in 11 hours which is pretty good in less than a day um if you have it on hard economy that's 60 per hour and if you have it on easy economy it's 120 per hour which is pretty cool now usually it says produces vegetables which are sold automatically to earn you money now on the mod hub thumbnail picture whatever you want to call it it did show manure being put with this as well so what i will do first of all is we'll grab the water we'll go to one of the ones behind the water trigger comes up fairly easily i know on some of these before in fs17 the triggers were a little bit finicky there we go water it says about water in boom on come the leaves doesn't take a huge amount of water actually what i'm going to do i'm going to leave that one to try something out bear with me just one moment okay so i've retrieved my trailer i've got some manure in it i've got it on tip side right i don't there we go very slightly you might miss it r1 and triangle now what normally happens on these mods is you give it water and you'll get whatever it is per hour if you give it manure as well it doubles the payment um it doesn't say that actually in the store when you buy it but that's normally what happens when you give them both It'd be unusual to give them water and manure and still only get the 90 or 60 or 120 just checking to see whether it will let you do manure without the water it will do okay that's interesting cool so in theory when this goes past the next hour i should get well it's difficult to tell now isn't it what i will do let's give water to the other one so there you go with all three watered and manured as i tip over the hour i should get 540 or i'll get 270 so we'll just check that let's speed up time just a tad see what it pays out So yeah, not bad at all. Um, that's the Olive Tree by Robymel81 Modding. 
should you wish to add that to your landscape have an olive orchard or you know you might just want to add it to the orchards you've already got or you know however you want to do it it's your call I do like that I might put some olive orchards or a few trees in on the pinky who knows but anyway that's our four mods for today Wednesday the 10th of July I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching